Scottish Hammer, Landon Faulkner. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody good? How we doing? Yeah, having a good time? How are you, sir? You all right? You good? He's just got this look like that is the ugliest chick I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap. What is it? It's okay, sir. I'll explain it all. I am Scottish. I'm a very proud Scot. My family goes all the way back to Edinburgh. Any Scots in the house? Yeah, we're making a comeback, people. All right, yeah. Where's all you Irish at? Where's the Irish? Yeah, yeah one of you. Mm. Oh, you Two. people. Two of you. Super. I don't like the Irish. The Irish, you get one holiday where everybody wants to be like you, and you think you rule the world, don't you? Oh, you people. Any English? Where's all you English? You can leave now. That's awesome. So, super. Thanks for the bad teeth and attempted genocide. That's an awesome. Oh, the Scots. The Scots are funny people, though. If you didn't know this, the Scottish family, we're the people they make the SPF 74. Yeah, and still burn. That's right, yeah. I am super pasty. I am. I've come to find out that our favorite holiday is being Scottish, solar eclipses. That's us. That's, that's, that's our holiday right there. I am pasty. I've gone to the beach without a shirt and albinos are like, really? Ser no, no, don't do that. That's not. Oh. I don't go to petting zoos for fear that some llama will tongue my butthole like a salt lick. That's, that's the kind of white that I am, people. That's, that's, that's us right there. So it's funny. I don't know. Oh, I do like wearing my kilt. I love wearing my kilt, especially when I'm out in public. It's easy to pick up the ladies when you're in a kilt. Great pick. It is because you just walk up and you're like, hey, um, you can look under mine if I can look under yours. How about that? That's, that's, you see, he's with me. He's going to buy one tomorrow. That's... That, and you can always give them the old, all right, ladies, who wants to ring the bell? Pong, pong. No, all right, I don't care. Oh, man. I just got out of a relationship, horrible relationship. It was actually kind of weird. We broke up because, uh, well, she was kind of hairy. Well, she wasn't like, she, she, well, she was. She wasn't like Sasquatch hair. She was just covered in that, like, woman blonde fur that you all had. She has one of them little happy trails. You all call them your little treasure trail. It looked like the Appalachian Trail, that kind of hair. Started right below her Adam's apple and went down. It was horrible. And, uh, don't judge. She had soft hands. And uh, she was, like, to that hairy point. Like, she was so hairy that when she went to the bathroom, she didn't wipe. She had to comb. That kind of hairy, you know. So it was, yeah. We broke up after the third guy threw red paint on her. First murder! First! That's a PETA joke right there. You got to Google that later. It'll be funny. It's, oh, I don't know. Uh, being Scott's funny. I drink too much. That's a horrible curse, being Celtic, that we drink way too much. You ever drink so much you forget stuff? Just simple stuff, like, you know, where you put your keys or where you park your car or 2004, that kind of drinking, you know? Oh. <laughs> I drink way too much. I gotta be careful when I drink when I'm out in my kilt because I've been known to like get so drunk I look up my own skirt. <laughs> that chick's got a wiener. <laughs> yeah, that's that's rough. <laughs> that and I, I like when I go to places when I'm drinking that have actual words on the bathrooms because if you just go by the picture, I will go in the wrong one. <laughs> Then all the girls are like, who's peeing on the seat? It's the trainee over there. <laughs> that chick's hitting on me. <laughs> oh, man. I got a DUI last year. That was weird. Let me give you a piece of advice. If you plan on getting a DUI at some point, uh, step one should be never start a DUI by knocking on the cop's window. That's, that's the way. <laughs> that's rule. You should never start a DUI. I know you got somebody pulled over already, but, uh, <laughs> sir, that's your car. I was looking for that. <laughs> You're very good. So this cop gets out of the car, and they, they uh, sir, we need to see your license. Give them my license, and they're just staring at me, staring at the card, staring at me. Sir, that's a Kroger Plus card. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get anything off the ticket with that? <laughs> sir, what's your name? Landon Faulkner. What's your date of birth? September 23rd. What year? 2052. <laughs> Do you know Sarah Connors? <laughs> That's a Terminator joke. <laughs> Google that one later, too. <laughs> 
So it's kind of, at this point, you know, you're caught. There's nothing you can do. You're caught, and that little comedic sensibility starts to kick in, so you want to start to play with the cop a little bit, and you really just, you know, it's horrible. So then they're like, sir, we're going to read you your rights. So while they have me on the ground in handcuffs, they're, they're reading me my rights, and they're like, sir, you understand that anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Anything? Yes, anything you say can and will be held against you. Then I say boobies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny to me. It's not funny to a female officer, though. I'll tell you that. That's, yeah. It hurts to get maced and tased at the same time. <laughs> oh. So, I like watching TV. I watch way too much TV. My favorite commercials right now, Vegas, right? And everybody knows the new motto for Vegas is what? Exactly, sir. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Which brings me to the thought that you think if you go to Vegas and you go to AA in Vegas, you're allowed to drink anyplace else. Because <laughs> what happens there stays there. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you this, my dear cupcake. Let me tell you what happens in Vegas that doesn't stay in Vegas. Crabs. Yeah, they come all the way back to Ohio with you. You know how hard they are to get out of a beard this long, too? You guys are a lot of fun. My name's Landon Faulkner. Thank you. Yes. Yes. How was it born? Well, I, I am Scottish. I've, I've known my, about my Scottish heritage for years and years. Been very proud, uh, very proud Scott. Uh, the hammer actually came from a very good friend of mine by the name of Eric Campbell. Uh, we grew up doing comedy. Uh, we started at the same time. And he used to always come and make the comment that he was very surgical with an audience very scalpel-like. I'm a hammer. I just deliver and I force feed people my comedy. So that kind of put it together and that's where it came about. And uh, it's a great thing. People always remember it. It's an easy way to get over with people. Great gig. Great gig. Thank so you. Where can we find you online? Uh, I have, uh, naturally, I'm on MySpace, Facebook. I also have my own website. It's www.scottishhammer.com. Okay. So feel free to look it up. Scottishhammer.com. Oh, wow. Let me think. Next week, I'll be doing uh, Boomerangs over in St. Bernard. Then the following, uh, actually the same weekend, next weekend, I'll be at the Brick House, um, Northern Kentucky, out in Florence. And then, I don't know, you got to look at the website. That's what I do to figure it out. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for being on. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Take care. All right.